Hey there everyone, my name is Atesh and let's get started with our iOS 13 and welcome to a new section. In this section, we are going to be focusing just on the Hello World app. I know, Hello World app seems to be absolutely basic, but it used to be basic in the time when we were making just browser apps or something like that. In the world of app development, Hello World can be taken up to the next level and that's exactly what we'll be doing. You will understand some of the basics about the button, some of the text basics as well, some of the steps how, how to incorporate multiple things onto your screen. We are also going to, for the very first time, run our application on different simulators as well as later on we're going to talk about some of the design aspect as well. Although the Hello World app may look absolutely bizarre and absolutely just to the ground basics, but we want it to be finished. By the term finished, I mean to say we want to have our own app icons, we want to have our own storyboards, launch icons, as well as some of the splash screen as well. So we're gonna be designing all of that right from the scratch. During, the, during this design process, I'll also walk you through that what makes an app to be a little bit like rejected section as when the Apple reviews your app. So these are important steps and you should be aware about the design guidelines about from the Apple as well. So without a further ado, let's get started and talk about this. So this is our very first app that we are having, my first app. We are still gonna be inside this application since we haven't written any code. The first and foremost thing, at the very top of the right, you can see that I have got iPhone 11 selected, but there is no shortage of the other iOS devices that you can have, even you can connect your own real device as well. I have selected iPhone 11 as the device on which I want to run this application. Surely you can choose iPhone 11 Pro or anything uh, later than that. It's going to be absolutely fine. I have opened up my content view.swift file because this is where we'll be working on. Now, first and foremost, let's go ahead and look on this. So make sure your canvas is enabled. Just click on it and click on the canvas. It's It should be enabled. If you are on a Catalina and you are having Xcode 11, both are necessary to make sure that this is enabled. Now, first and foremost, I'll walk you through some of the graphical way of changing this hello world. So all you have to do is come up here and make sure you select that it's gonna be a little bit blue now hold down your command key and click on this hello world once you're gonna click on this one onto the graphical part it will show you this pop-up here you can click on definitely we have other options like H stack V stack we are going to talk about them later on right now just click on this Swift UI inspector and this will give you a whole lot of things like how you can modify the text you can select your text hello world and change it to something like that you can also change the colors and something. The most important thing is when I change this color to something, let's just say uh, green, it's not only going to change up here as well, it takes a minute to change up here, but notice here it says foreground color, color dot green. So this gets changed up here as well. So we can determine this, that when we make any change onto this preview area or the canvas area, it also automatically writes some code for me. The better approach, however, is to write the code and see the preview and not the reverse. You want to write the code for everything that is happening up here. Okay. Now, since my this machine is not really damn fast, that's why at the time of recording, it gets a little bit slow and we don't see the preview instantaneously. But later on, for sure in the series, we are going to move on to my heavy machine. Things are gonna be uh, almost like instantaneous on that. And sometimes even uh, this th these things appear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna press Command Z to undo the color changes that I have done. I really don't like that much to be done here. Okay. So if you want to make any change, we can just simply say hello world, or maybe I can just come up here and I highly recommend you to follow along. So you can simply say hello Hitesh, and that's gonna be changing almost instantaneously. But that's not all enough. We want to do a lot more than that. So what I want you to do now is just hold down your command key and click onto this text here. Once you click on this text, you can see that we have a whole lot of options that are coming up here uh, that say jump to definition, embed in H stack, embed in V stack. So in the recent Swift UI, that is iOS 13 changes, we are having now two stack introduced to us, a horizontal stack and the vertical stack. We are going to definitely discuss more on that. Right now, I want to introduce a V stack or a vertical stack. Just click on that and there we go. So it has introduced a little bit more code in our system, which says a V stack, then it's almost like an object, and then we are having a text. What this H stack, it allows us to have multiple element into the vertical stacking position. So that's great. Probably I can insert more text. Yes, of course, I would love to do that. So I'm gonna simply say text, 
and there we go let's insert as more text and we're gonna say uh, hey uh, there something like that and it's good that we are able to see two, te two uh, text at right of one above each other but again, uh, that's not something I'm super satisfied with. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove this text. And I would like to get something more. Now this something more can be a little bit tricky to deal up with that. Now for the very first time, we are going to introduce a button in our application. This is like a regular button in the iOS that you see. And if you are coming up from the development side of iOS 12, 11 or previous, the way how we used to introduce the button has changed completely in the iOS 13. So follow along me here. It's actually super fun. So first and foremost, we are gonna have a button. There we go. This is how a button looks like. And it's also going to give you a lot of suggestions here. I'm gonna select the suggestion which says only the button and I'm gonna click on that. Now surely it doesn't do anything. Probably later on they're gonna autofill all of these things. But button is almost like a function or a method in the iOS 13 world. So once I have this button, I can simply have a button just like a pair of parentheses and then after that I can have uh, a curly brace up here. But button has two properties that are very essential for that. What the button text says and what the button does when I click on that. So first and foremost, we are going to worry about the property, uh, which is what the button text actually says. For that, I'll introduce again a text. Remember, I'm writing the text inside the button this time. And I'm going to simply go up here and I'm going to say my button. There we go. Okay, so the button is up here. But this is just a regular text. It is not yet button. It will become button when you'll go inside this button and will mark that there is some action that is going to be performed up here. So I'm going to say simply something like action, put a colon sign, and then this action needs to go inside a curly brace again. So this makes a perfect button. Now surely it's a very shrinking button, uh, but it's actually a button and it's a clickable. We can just simply verify that by running this on a real simulator. Surely we can play it up here, but I don't think there is in need of it. We would love to run it uh, directly into a simulator. So where is my simulator? Uh, there we go. Nice and easy. My first app, a very vibrant wallpaper. And we're going to wait just for a few seconds. And there we go. Uh, this is my button. I'm going to click on that. It definitely gives me a feeling that button is being clicked, but so far it's not doing anything. So let's go ahead and do something with that button. So what we're going to do in the action side, I'm going to just go ahead and simply write this print statement. And I'm going to say uh, something like clicked is absolutely awesome. And then I can just simply run that again. That's going to be a little bit faster this time because we haven't changed much. So I'm going to go up here and there we go. And now if I move this up a little bit here and I click on this my button, notice at the very bottom, we are getting click, click, click. Okay great progress so far. Now let's go ahead and stop this one here. And now I'm still not satisfied. I want to do a little bit more, maybe a little bit changing of the text when I click on the button. Now this is definitely tricky and we are going to talk about this in a whole lot detail in the upcoming videos. But right now, just to get a feel that how things are actually working in iOS 13, let's go ahead and do that. Now, one thing to manipulate the text is we have to introduce something known as state in our uh, entire code block. And then you can simply define a variable. So I'm going to simply say var name is going to be, uh, let's just say my name, of course. So I'm going to say, there we go. Since now we have a variable, we have to inject this variable somewhere so that this actually works. So what I'm going to say is instead of the text that says hello world, I'm going to just go ahead and remove that. So I'm going to go ahead, remove all of it and we'll inject this variable. This is also known as string interpolation. So I'm going to just put a backslash, then a pair of uh, parentheses. parentheses uh, and uh, then we are going to simply inject this. So let's just go ahead and say name. Okay, now it's picking up this name from this uh, variable and is just working fine. Let's go ahead and verify that. And we are not going to run our app like this much frequently in the later on, but right now, just for the demo purpose, we are going to do that. So there we go. It says Hitesh. So, so far, the concepts are working absolutely fine. Let's start that. Okay. Now, we want to manipulate this text or this variable on the click of button. So I'm going to co come up into this action section where I was printing this click. I'm going to go up here and I want to manipulate this name. So I'm going to simply say self dot name. Whenever I click on button should be changed to something else. So I'm going to manipulate that to my last name, which is definitely big. You can definitely pick up your own variable name or anything here. 
and we're going to run that for the final time. Let's go ahead and run that onto the simulator and when I click on the button, it changes to my name. I know, not very exciting, but something we were able to do it. But now, this is not the only thing. We want to learn a lot more about it. Maybe some of the manipulation in the buttons, maybe some of the manipulation when there is a splash screen and there is a lot we can do in just the Hello World app and we will be doing that. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we are going to learn more about the app icons and how we can create some of the amazing app icons, keeping in mind the HIG, the human interface guideline provided by the Apple. So let's go ahead and move on to the next video and talk about something on the app icons.